Hi, I'm Valerie. Welcome to the Motopress YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to integrate Zoom with the appointment booking plugin using the video conferencing add-on. This add-on is a game changer if you're offering online consultations, coaching sessions, or virtual classes. It automatically creates Zoom meeting links for confirmed bookings, so you don't have to set them up manually. Admins and customers receive all the details via email. Additionally, we'll cover how to add an alternative host, so you can assign a specific employee to offer their services through Zoom meetings. As alternative hosts, employees get access to their assigned Zoom meetings. They receive an email from Zoom inviting them to join the meeting as an alternative host. Furthermore, uh, they can easily keep track of their schedule. Each assigned Zoom meeting appears in their personal calendar and inside the bookings menu in their dashboard. This way, they always know when their next session is happening. Let's walk through the steps. So without further delay, let's dive in. First, sign in to Zoom or create an account if you don't have one. Then open the Zoom Marketplace and log in using your Zoom account credentials. At the top, find Develop, click it, and select Build App from the drop-down. To build the app, follow the guided setup to configure it. The documentation on the Addons product page on the Motopress website provides detailed instructions. The link to it is in the video description. Moreover, for the most up-to-date information, you can always check out the official Zoom documentation. My app is ready, so I click Manage next to Develop and choose My app. The credentials you've obtained from Zoom can now be used to securely connect your appointment booking to Zoom. The account ID, client ID, and client secret are part of Zoom's OAuth authentication method. Account ID identifies your Zoom account. Client ID identifies your specific app within Zoom. Client secret is a private key used to authenticate and secure API requests. Using these credentials, the plugin can authenticate with Zoom's APIs, integrating Zoom meetings with bookings made through the appointment booking plugin. Essentially, it enables a seamless connection between your booking system and Zoom for automated meeting scheduling. Once you've got that set up, we can move on. Now log into your WordPress admin dashboard and go to Appointments, then click Settings. Next, switch to the Integrations tab. Under Video Conferencing, find Zoom Settings. This is where we'll add the credentials from the app you created in the Zoom Marketplace. Once that's done, click Save Changes. And that's it! Your appointment booking plugin is now connected to Zoom. Once Zoom is activated, you can go a step further and choose which specific services will use Zoom for meetings. And we'll cover that in the next step, so stick around. Now let's set up Zoom for a specific service. Select Services. Pick the service you want to enable Zoom for and click to edit it. In the Service Editing page, scroll down until you see the Video Conferencing Meta box. In the Provider drop-down menu, select Zoom as your video conferencing provider. In addition, the video conferencing add-on 
also support generating identical meeting details when multiple people book the same time slot and date for a service. This is especially useful for services where you enabled group reservations. When different clients book the same time slot for a group session, Zoom creates one meeting link for all participants. This ensures that everyone gets the same meeting details. So, if you're running group classes, workshops, or any service that allows multiple bookings in the same time slot, this feature provides one easy to share Zoom link for everyone. Don't forget to click save when you're done. And now your chosen service is all set to use Zoom for meetings. Now let's make sure that Zoom meeting links are automatically included in emails sent to admins and customers. Go to the Emails tab in your appointment booking settings. Scroll down to find the Template Parts section. Here you'll need to edit the Admin and Customer Reservation Details Template Parts. Now insert the video conference details tag into the template part. This will automatically pull in the Zoom meeting details for each booking. By the way, uh, this tag is already listed under the template part for easy reference. And once you've edited, don't forget to save your changes. Just a quick note, confirmation emails containing Zoom details will be sent based on the configured payment type and reservation status. Meeting links will only be generated for confirmed bookings. That's it. Now your customers will always get their meeting details automatically. And if you want even more flexibility, you can also send custom email notifications from the notifications menu. Just add the video conference details tag to any notification you set up and it will include the Zoom link as well. All right, now it's time to put everything into practice. Let's make a test reservation and see how it all works. First, I select the category, then the service, and finally the location. You can notice that I've customized the location name, but if needed, you can hide this field in the settings. Next, I select the employee who will be hosting the session. Now let's pick a date and time. Since this is a group booking, I'm choosing the number of students joining the session. You'll see that my personal information is already pre-filled. Uh, that's because I'm logged into my customer account. Now I choose my payment method, complete the reservation, and great, that's it. Right after booking, the client can go to their account. Under Bookings, click View, and here is all the important info, including the Zoom meeting link meeting ID and password. Now let's check the inbox. Just like in the customer account, the email contains a direct link to join the meeting, a unique meeting ID and a security code for access. Of course, the admin gets this email too with all the same details. But that's not all. The admin can also double check everything right inside the admin calendar. 
By clicking on a booking, we can see all the necessary online meeting details at a glance. For even more details, I click the View Bookings button. Here, I can also check the logs, which contain all Zoom meeting details. Now let's switch to Zoom. Every meeting created via appointment booking also appears in the Meetings tab of your Zoom account. Each meeting title includes reservation details, such as the time and the assigned employee. And when I click on a meeting, the description gives even more details about the session. So, with everything connected, both customers and admins get a smooth booking experience with automatic Zoom meeting details in their emails, their accounts, and their calendars. So, when you connect a Zoom account through the app, that account becomes the main one that gets all the meeting details for every booking. But what if you need specific employees to host meetings instead? Zoom lets you assign alternative hosts, but only if you're on a pro plan or higher. Now, if your Zoom account is on the basic plan, there is a catch. You only get one user license, meaning only that one account can create meetings. But with a pro or higher plan, you can add extra users who can host meetings as alternative hosts. Just keep in mind that only the Zoom account owner can add these additional users. Hope that clears things up. All right, let's talk about adding a new user to your Zoom account, also known as an alternative host. This step is totally optional and depends on how your business operates, but if you need multiple people handling meetings, it's a handy feature to have. First, log into your Zoom account, then scroll down to the admin menu, go to user management, and select users. Here you'll see the primary admin email, the one that gets all the meeting details. And to add a new user as an alternative host, click Add Users. A pop-up will appear where you'll need to fill in some details. Enter the email of the employee you want to add. If you have extra Zoom workplace licenses, pick one from the drop-down. You can also add their department, job title, and location if needed. And once that's done, click Add. After adding users, uh, they'll show up in the pending tab under User Management. Now Zoom will send them an activation email, and here's how it works. If they are new to Zoom, they'll get an email to activate their account, and if they already have a, a Zoom account with the same email, they'll get an invite to join your account. Just a heads up, these invitations expire after 30 days, so, so they should accept them sooner rather than later. Let's say I am the employee, I check my inbox, find the invitation email, and click Activate your Zoom account. From there, I'll enter my first and last name, set a password, and voila, I'm in. Now that you've added users to Zoom, let's assign one as an alternative host inside WordPress. Go to Employees in your WordPress admin dashboard. Select the employee assigned to the service that uses Zoom. In their settings, find the Zoom alternative host email field. Enter the email of the user you just added to your Zoom account. Click Save. And that's it. If the email matches a user in your Zoom account, any meeting 
for that service will be created under their name instead of the main account. All right, now let's walk through how this actually works. Again, I'm going to book a service that's provided via Zoom. And once a client makes a reservation, the admin gets an email with all the usual details, including the Zoom meeting link. Nothing new here. Now let's switch roles. Imagine I'm the employee providing this service. I check my inbox and great, I've got an email from Zoom inviting me to join the meeting as an alternative host complete with all the necessary details. Now let's hop back into the admin dashboard and find that booking in the calendar. As usual, all the key details are right there. But what if you want to track who the meeting host is? Simple. Just go to the logs meta box. In the booking details, this will show you who the meeting was created for. So you'll know if it was assigned to an alternative host, the meeting link, meeting ID and passcode, any errors that may have occurred during meeting creation. Now let's check the employee's dashboard. Once they log into their profile, they can view all their scheduled Zoom meetings in their personal calendar. One important thing to highlight, if multiple people book the same date and time, they'll all receive the same Zoom meeting details. Let's see that in action. As you can see, for group bookings, the system automatically shares the same Zoom meeting link with all participants. And for example, as an admin, you can check the calendar menu to see the total number of clients and bookings for that session. That's it. Now you know exactly how Zoom meetings are assigned, tracked, and managed in both the admin and employee dashboards. Now you know how to connect Zoom to the appointment booking plugin, set it up for specific services, and make sure meeting links get sent automatically. If this video helped, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more tutorials. And if you got any questions, drop them in the comments. We are always happy to help. See you in the next one.